I guess we start with pro football, the National Football League. It was quite an eventful final week. Uh, it, was, your, it was. Your Dallas Cowboys were vying for a playoff spot inexplicably as they are uh, well below 500, as is the entire NFC least, as we've referred to it. And it the least did not disappoint in, in week 17. It was complete mayhem on, on all fronts in the saddest ways possible. But I was wondering what your perspective was watching games all weekend as your Cowboys yeah, were well, in it. Uh, I thought the Cowboys were, were totally going to win that game. Uh, Andy Dalton got his act together after one of the most horrendous first halves of passing I've ever had mm-hmm. the displeasure of witnessing where – Simple throws he could not hit over and over again, where Dallas had opportunity after opportunity. That being said, the Giants had opportunity after opportunity, and the Dallas defense uh, held tight and uh, got two more turnovers that game to have dominated the end of the season with like 13, 13 takeaways in, in four games or something like that, in four and a half games, something crazy like that. So um, looks like they had kind of turned the corner a bit. Uh, the the perplexing moment of that game is when it looks like um, the Giants receiver, I think it was Sterling Sharp or, or whoever, clearly <laughs> Sterling could, Sharp. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 well, who cares? Uh, <laughs> he drops. He's about he 50 dro- years old right now. He, well, it may be on the Giants. Uh, <laughs> Sterling Shepard, excuse me. Oh, yes. That clearly, right. scarily, clearly does not complete the catch does not complete the process. The ball hits the ground. This is a crucial point of the game because it changes it from a 50 yard field goal to a like 57, 58 yard field goal attempt. Mm. Everyone sees it. The Cowboys do not challenge. The Cowboys do not challenge the play. Uh, It's a 50 yard field goal. Giants make it, and then in a desperation throw at the end, Andy Dalton gets intercepted. Mm. Game over. Now, I was really annoyed by that at the time. However, with the way the evening ended up, <laughs> I really don't care because the Cowboys, as, as uh, I had not seen this before we came on, but you, you alerted me to this, ended up with the number 10 pick. Uh, they get a top 10 pick with a pretty uh, when healthy when healthy so hopefully they can draft for some depth but when healthy is is a very good squad and we saw what they could do offensively at the beginning of the season with Dak Prescott where they they were just dominating the league Dak Prescott pre-injury in that second half was about to set the all-time record for a quarterback in, in the first four games of passing so um anyway well if I, yeah, if you were annoyed after that game, you would have been really annoyed if they had actually won that game and then yes, watched watched right. the Sunday night game. So I, I became very I became less annoyed when watching the Sunday night game and seeing what it could only be described as the most blatant laydown. Yeah. The most blatant laydown, the most blatant tank in NFL history where Jalen Hurst, who didn't have the greatest game passing, but had rushed for two touchdowns in the game and was doing what he needed to do to win the ball game for Philly, is removed. So, quote unquote, uh, the uh, Philly's uh, Doug Peterson can see what he's got in his third string quarterback. What? <laughs> What? It was it was a dog shit game. It was only entertaining because of the idea that they might be tanking live tanking on the field in front of us. Uh, yeah, it was obvious what Doug Peterson was doing. Uh, even though Jalen Hurts, you wouldn't think is you know the world beater that 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 would you know tip the balance of a division race, but he was definitely the best option for for him to be pulled from the from the game. It was just hilarious. It was an obvious obvious moment to hand the division to the Washington Redskins in favor of what could have been the New York Giants. So the memes were like literally Doug Peterson would do anything just to fuck over the Giants, which is just hilarious. But would it would have been you guys, the Cowboys, if you had won won your game. So I can't imagine 
can't imagine what your feelings would have been if if that was a scenario where you actually won one earlier in the day and then just to get screwed over at the at the end of the day by very interesting coaching decisions yeah but it makes sense from a philly standpoint they didn't need to win that game that wasn't gonna do them any good that gives no. them a better better they draft like six, spot to get the six seed now yeah they actually stayed in front of the lions which we'll talk about later um, i was hoping philly would win that win that game so the lions could jump up to six but uh, so you don't see that i guess it's it's not a unheard of scenario we hear about it in other sports tanking but you, it's you don't really see that so blatantly in in football and it's never played out that way so perfectly in front of everyone's yeah. eyes so it, just leave it to the nfc least uh to provide us those moments which is just it was classic the perfect way to end end the nfl season on such a <laughs> suspicious dour note but yeah <laughs>